think to yourself now, why do I think the way I think? Why do I act the way I act? What's going on inside of me? Part one. Part one is about self-awareness. It's about being understanding yourself, who you are, and what makes you tick. Your conscious mind is that which um, is watching this video. It might be writing something down. It's the one that is kind of aware of things going on around it. So, oh, you, because your unconscious mind helps you breathe, regulates your temperature, tells you when you need to be fed, tells you when you need a drink. Uh, it looks after the body, it manages the body and all the body. The primary directive of the unconscious mind is to keep you alive. It's the main objective. The second thing it aims to do is to help you achieve your goals and needs. So circle. You, when you say something to yourself, you're talking to your unconscious mind and your unconscious mind reciprocates by doing everything and anything within its power to take you closer to the goals and aims and objective you set it. So your unconscious mind is a massively, massively important thing. Mind. So we've established that the unconscious mind is there to help you fulfill your dreams, needs, hopes and ambitions. And if you tell your unconscious mind to do something, it will marshal all of your available resources to try and give you what you've asked for. It won't particularly challenge it. So if you ask for dumb stuff to happen, guess what? Dumb stuff may happen. Take that a step further. If you really, 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 and I mean really believe in something, you, like me, will notice and recognise that often that which we really, really, really believe in happens. It comes true. Furthermore, when looking at self-awareness, what does this mean in real relationships? What that means in real relationships is, let's say, for example, you don't like somebody, or you have an environment. When you communicate your beliefs and feelings, it gets attached to your perspective about them and them and the audience you're working with. And what you do within the emotional framework is your face, your face and your eyes and these muscles here and all these muscles around my face. It's like a micro um, perspective of our emotions are portrayed and displayed in our face. So that's where if you're not congruent when talking to somebody, so if you're trying to pretend that you like them, yeah, 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 I really like you, but you've got that kind of covert, unexpressed belief, or you think it's unexpressed, but you're, the microscopic perspective of your personality is projecting that actually you don't like this particular person, then that's gonna percolate out, and that's where you get a lack of congruence. And if there's a lack of congruence, there'll be a lack of rapport. Lack of rapport, then you'll probably have a significant lack of trust. So self-awareness self is all about you thinking. What do you believe? What what do you think about you? What do you do? You know how you portray and project your beliefs, ambitions, objectives, expectations, requirements onto other people, and do you therefore, which is phase two, really understand them and their emotions? Because if you're swamping them with your stuff and your needs and your requirements, then. How can you see their needs and their requirements? So stage one is about developing self-awareness. It's truthfully looking at what you read, what you write, what you say, what you do, how you do it, what motivates you to do it. Self-awareness self -awareness is about bringing things out objectively and looking at them and establishing what they are and working out if they do serve a purpose and if they always serve a purpose. And if you want that behavior, now some behaviors you can't stop, they're just sort of in your DNA. But many, 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 many behaviors you can change, you can enrich or enhance, you can make changes. And woe betide you, some subtle changes in yourself can, can trigger significant changes in others. And as you start to make those changes in yourself, do not be surprised when you start to see changes in others. But that's for later dialogue. At the moment, self-awareness. Think to yourself now, why do I think the way I think? Why do I act the way I act? What's going on inside of me? Write on a postcard, send it to me, write it on a postcard, send it to yourself. Have a look at it, look at the language you use, the words you use, the way you structure your sentences. And most importantly, listen to your internal dialogue, what you're saying to yourself about yourself. Goodbye.